Hello, this is Dr. Ben Finio here with Mr. Googles and Mr. Moose, and in this very quick video, we will show you how to rename yourself and other people in Zoom. What do I mean by rename? I mean the text name that appears below your image to other people in the meeting. So you can see my name here is Benjamin Finio, Mr. Googles has Mr. Googles, and Mr. Moose has Mr. Moose. However, you can change this text. It does not need to match whatever you used when you created your Zoom account. So I can simply right click on myself, select rename, and then I can type in whatever I want here. For example, let's say I want to make it Mr. Ben instead if I was teaching a class for young kids. Now I can hit okay, and the new name will show up here. You might have noticed a little checkbox there. There is one thing you have to be very careful about. If I go back to right click, select rename again, there is a checkbox for remember my name for future meetings. So if you scour the internet, you will probably find plenty of people who have given themselves silly or maybe profane names for a happy hour on Zoom with friends and then forgotten to change it back before work on Monday morning. So be very careful. If you are just changing it for one meeting, you might want to uncheck this box and then it will revert back to your default when you join your next meeting. If you leave that checked, it will keep it persistent between meetings. So again, be careful with that. Now, instead of right-clicking on a thumbnail, you can also rename yourself through the Participants window. So if you click on the Participants button down at the bottom, then hover over your name, there's this little button for more, click on that, and there is a rename option there as well. So you can click that for the same effect. You'll get the pop-up box with this checkbox, and let's say I'm going to now change that to Dr. Finio, and that will also work to change your name. Now, interestingly, as the host, you can also rename other people in the meeting. So I can either right-click on a thumbnail for Mr. Googles or Mr. Moose, or I can use that participant window to hover over their name, select more, and then select rename. So let's say I'm logged into this on multiple computers and I wanna keep track of which computer is which. So I'm going to change this to laptop one instead. I can hit okay and that will rename Mr. Googles. I can also rename Mr. Moose by selecting more, rename, and I'm going to call that laptop too. However, note that when you rename other people, you do not get that checkbox to keep the name between meetings. So as much as you'd probably like to try and prank your friends by changing their names during your Saturday night happy hour and then ruining their Monday morning at work, you won't be able to do that. Their name will change back automatically if you're the one who renames them. Now, finally, there is a hierarchy to this. So you'll notice that I have myself as the host, Mr. Googles as a co-host, and Mr. Moose as a regular participant. So as the host, I can rename anyone, including co-hosts. Co-hosts can only rename regular participants and not the host, and regular participants can only rename themselves and not anyone else. So you can rename anybody farther down than you on the chain. You cannot rename people ranked above you. However, the renaming is not locked even when it's done by somebody above you. So you might notice that these changed back to Mr. Googles and Mr. Moose from Laptop 1 and 2. I went and did that on their computers. So even though I am the host and I'm the one who renamed them, you can't make that stick. They still have the ability to change their name back to whatever they want. So as always, I hope you found that helpful. You can find a link to my playlist of other Zoom tutorials somewhere on the end screen here and in the description below this video. If you have a question, a comment, or a suggestion for another tutorial, please leave a comment below the video. Thank you.